I'm here at Reflex 2023. It is so exciting. The atmosphere is buzzing. I'm seeing engineers, familiar faces. They're all starting to pour in and they are going to be live streamed later with George Imaffedon hosting this amazing event. If you want to see backstage information, follow me, follow RS Group on Twitter, now X, Meta, TikTok, all the usual social media platforms for some insider information. For those of you that can't join in person, watch it virtually. You're going to get so much content over the next few hours. Stay tuned. All right, can I get some attention, please? So, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You need to do better than that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll go right side first. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> well, there's you here in the room today, but there's also those that are also joining us online. So, welcome to you all to Reflect 2023. The guys at the front, the guys at the front are doing it. The guys at the front are doing it. Cool. So, before I start, I always like to know where people are coming in from. So, for those that are joining us online, please type where you're dialing in from. Is it from London, outside of London? And for those of you in the room, where are you coming in from today? Sheffield. The shout, Sheffield, you got Sheffield, you got London. New, uh, uh, I thought he was going to say Newcastle. New Cross, I'll take that. Cool. At the back. Beckton, nice. That's south. Is that south? East, Fez. South, love it, love it, love it. Um, so cool. So in terms of myself, I'm George Maffedon. Um, some of you may know me, but for those that don't know me, I grew up in one of the best places in London. Can anyone guess? Don't say it, Mo. <laughs> Not you as well, because I know you know. Anyone else? Shout out some some places. Imperial College. No, bro. I mean, like, where I grew up, background, part of London. No, I can't because I know he knows. He said Brixton, not Brixton. At the back, Peckham. We got Peckham again. So I came from Peckham. Um, and I guess it's known now for the rooftop bars and everything of that nature. But kind of when I was growing up, it was a lot more rougher than that. Um, and I've told the story last year when I was up here as a speaker. Uh, this time I'll be your host for today. Um, but when I was growing up in Peckham, it was interesting. It was a lot more rougher. And when I was 14, uh, my brother was forcibly imprisoned for murder and six other charges. I want to just set the scene, set the context. And from that point there, I guess fixing bikes for me and go-karting was almost an outlet. Uh, so I kept on kind of doing that, and then eventually, um, when I realized that interest could potentially lead me to go somewhere, I thought I'm going to continue to pursue it. So I decided to study maths and all the sciences, like some of you might already be doing, and then that led me to do mechanical engineering with programming at UCL. So I'm an engineer, essentially, is the point I'm trying to make. Um, and kind of as I was going down that journey, um, I realized probably in 2015, that many people that I was growing up with were excluded in year nine, year 10. So they basically just didn't really even make it into year 11. So most of them didn't go this university route. So I was like, let's find a way to support them people as early as possible on the journey. And that's where Motors was born. So alongside engineering, I knew I needed to keep the ladder down. So in 2015, we co-founded Motives, which has been around, I guess, for eight years now. We supported over 9,000 young people directly to go into STEM and explore those careers. And kind of alongside all of that, now I guess we've got supported by Beyonce, yeah. Idris Elba, um, and of course Lewis Hamilton is one of the big supporters. And last year I came and was speaking about winning the Young Engineer of the Year Award from the Royal Academy of Engineering. And most recently, thank you. Um, but most, most recently, <laughs> thank you. But most recently, I got a MBE in the King's Honours List. Yeah! So, so, so I think, I would like to think we upgraded and I should be here hosting you today. Um, so alongside that, 
in terms of what I do, uh, I'm also a race engineer for Lewis Hamilton's race team. So if anyone has any questions about motorsport, which we'll be speaking about later today with two of our speakers, you can ask them, but you can also ask me. So that's enough about me. We've also got another host today for all of you online. You've got the lovely Dr. Sheeny. I always like to add the doctor because it doesn't feel right when I don't, but... Um, both, I'll call her Sheeny as well, so if you don't know, um, she will also be joining me today, so you can come up on stage as I show you. Um, so, both studied mechanical engineering, I guess she qualified as a mechanical engineer. Has anyone heard of fluid dynamics before? Or fluid mechanics, anything? few that's people a, in the room. Number. I'm surprised. Yeah. Before uni or anything, I didn't have a clue. Um, but um, you essentially studied your doctorate in fluid mechanics um, and became a STEM producer. When I was in Chile, I actually saw uh, one of the people within your team, which I haven't told you, oh. that actually films you as you kind of go around and do a this lot of your stuff. So. Told you. I've done my research. I've done my stuff. So, um, and she's got an interest in innovation in all things science, and she does that through authoring a book, which some copies are upstairs. Yeah, if you want to get a copy of Engineers Making a Difference, so many of the engineers I'm looking at are in the book. You can get copies upstairs. I'm not in the book, which is a problem, isn't it? You need to work on it. You need to yeah, work on it. Where have you That's been? right. Next time, next time. Next instalment. But George, I, just to say that I'm here to uh, take care of the virtual audience. There's going to be a lot of backstage interviews with our star engineers here today. So for more content on top of everything that George is doing today, come and find us on We Are RS Group on all the social digital platforms. Okay? Nice. Dr. Sheen, let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Amazing. So a little bit about Reflex for those of you that haven't been here before just to kind of give you a little bit of context. Um, so many of us kind of in the room and online, as I can see visually, and sometimes you can't always see visually, are from what we call the global ethnic majority. Anyone heard that phrase before? Who's heard the phrase BAME before? Exactly, right? But sometimes that phrase can make it seem like we're a minority when there's, you look in the world and we're realistically a majority. So it's a more empowering word and a word to kind of show that we've got a lot more value than sometimes may be shown. But as a kind of group overall, we're underrepresented in STEM. So if we take the amount of women in STEM, throw some numbers out in terms of percentages, how much do we think? I'll start at the back on, the, on my left. So there's 51% of the UK is women. How many people do you think are in STEM in terms of percentages that are women? Go for it. Forty-nine. Oh, I wish. I wish. At a, at the back. Eight percent. Okay, that's a good guess. Higher than that, a little bit higher. Twelve. Twelve. Ooh, a little bit higher. Getting closer. Twenty-three less. Someone said fourteen. You're the closest so far. Fifteen. No. Sixteen. What's the next one? Seventeen percent. So we've got a big gap in terms of what we need to fill. And if you look at those people that are from the global ethnic majority, that goes down to about 10%. If you're looking at people that are black, that goes down to 1%. Right? And when I was on the Hamilton Commission, essentially Lewis sent me an email which I initially thought was spam um, and invited me to the board of the Hamilton Commission because this is what we were trying to investigate, the barriers that young people face, whether they be black or from another part of the global ethnic majority, and why are they facing these barriers and how can we essentially get them into careers within STEM and specifically, in his case, motorsport. So that's kind of what we're here to talk about today, to inspire you with all of these stories that we have to make sure that you know that there's people out there that are getting it done and are representing the field as best as possible and you could be one of them if you choose to. Um, so you'll have nine incredible speakers um, from aerospace, tech for good, motorsports and also cybersecurity. And 